Greetings, Lego fans. Sasha here, the Metro Lego Maniac, taking some time off, doing a little camping, and as you've probably come to expect from me, brought some Lego along for the trip. For this week's build, we have the Minions Kit. This is kit number 75551, it has 876 pieces, and should be a fun little kit because, first of all, Minions are awesome, there's like no denying it. Secondly, we have these pretty cool looking Minions minifigures we get to build. And, of course, these guys also have interior scenes, which should be just fun to explore. And I'm looking forward to getting to all of that. But first, let's get this thing unboxed so I can get this build underway and have a look at the finished product. Minions! They're pretty cute, they're definitely funny, they even have their own language, Minionese, which is an amalgamation of many languages from around the world, and their popularity from the Despicable Me movies is about so great, inches or roughly 20 centimeters tall. If you're a fan, which I'm hoping you are, then the first thing you're probably asking yourself is, where's Bob? We have Kevin and Stuart, but no Bob. We actually have everything we need to build Bob, but for some reason, Lego decided not to give enough parts to build Bob along with the other two. So if you'd like to build him, unfortunately, Kevin must be sacrificed. As I'm not willing to do this, unfortunately, Bob will not be part of this review, except for the minifigure. Starting with Kevin, the taller of the two, he stands at about 7 inches or 18 centimeters tall, and he's looking pretty pleased with himself, with this little smirk on his face. Wearing his minion standard issue blue overalls and protective shop glasses, Kevin is ready to get to work. And if I open up the back, we see all manner of clues that indicate what type of work Kevin likes to do. Starting on the left, we've got a little pressure valve, a wrench screwdriver combo, a banana, because they love their bananas, and this little clear container, not sure what that's about. Moving on over to the right side, we've got a little pegboard with his to-do list, a nice little crowbar, a little fire extinguisher, and over on the bottom, some computer consoles with a big red button. And making our way up the center, we've got a little stool flanked by some more computer consoles, a whole mess of displays with the schematics of all kinds of different things we've seen through the movies. Put this all together, and it's pretty clear to me that Kevin is a builder and a fixer. Finally, 
just above that. You've got this little knob, which when you turn it, will make Kevin's eyes spin. Moving on over to Stuart, he stands a little bit shorter, at about 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters tall, has some shorter arms, and the look on his face is not looking quite as confident. Also wearing the standard blue overalls and safety goggle, Stuart is also ready to get busy. Opening up the back of this guy, you can see that Stuart has his own interest to keep him occupied. Starting over on the left side again, we find a poster of a guy, I'm not sure if he's a rock star or a martial artist, a target, a spear, which I'm quite certain is used on the target, and just beneath that, some more computer consoles. Moving on over to the right, we have another poster, this one saying Vicious Six. Right next to that, we've got a TV, cassette deck, a battle boomerang, I think, and just beneath that, some more computer consoles. And now to the center, right in the center, we've got this little bench that falls down. I'm not sure if this is for sleeping on or working out, but it's flanked by a pair of large speakers. Put this all together, and Stuart looks like a fighter and a partier. And for his final touch, Stuart also has a little knob to rotate, which, when you do, will send his eye for a spin. Now to the minifigures. Obviously, being minions, you can't have the classic minifigures. They just don't have the right shape or the right size. So we have some little buildable minifigures. At first, I thought these were standard pieces painted just for the minion set. But upon closer inspection, I can see that most of these are unique to the minions, and you won't find them elsewhere, making these buildable minion minifigures just as exclusive and collectible as many of the other set exclusives that are out there. For my concluding thoughts, I gotta say that I mostly love this kit, but I do have some frustrations. As a display piece, this kit's pretty awesome. There's a lot of minion fans out there, and this bright yellow color definitely grabs the eye. So when you have people over, they see it, they're going to be drawn to it. And it's a lot of fun to show it off. Not just the exterior, but the interior scenes are great. As a playset, I find this kit also scores pretty decently. They're very ridiculous creatures by nature. And I find just by handling them, the ridiculous voices, language, and scenarios just come to me naturally, making these guys almost fun by default. If you'd like to display your minifigs, then this set should definitely be appealing to you because these buildable mini minifigs, they're yellow, they're larger, and they definitely stand out. So they're definitely going to be a showpiece in your collection. Despite all this goodness, I do have that frustration. The frustration of not having Bob. I don't know why LEGO decided to do this. I mean, it's a trio. You're supposed to have three of them. And while technically you have all three, you can't have all three at once, which kind of sucks. Because when it comes to displaying it, the collection is not complete. There's always one guy missing. And the only way to fill in the blank is to either buy more pieces individually or buy a whole other set just so you can have all three. And that's just kind of lame. So while I look over at these guys and they do make me smile, I'm always reminded that there's one missing and that's just going to be part of the equation for as long as I keep them up. If that's not an issue for you, then you're going to love this set. Otherwise, if you want those minions, you got to plan to spend a little bit more than the ticket price. <laughs>